it's better to be loose than too tight on the piston rings. This is the part where it will be heavy on editing. I make sure that I'm filing it squarely and then try to locate the flat spot. Then I'll go downtown. This thing is going to be seeing boost, man. Yeah, we don't want to break that groove land. Yeah. So uh, I think I'll be okay. Uh, before we step into my office and show you. This is the used bearing and I'm putting it back respectively from how I got it from the old uh, setup. It must go back on the same location. It only has like uh, less than 2,000 miles in it or at least 2,000 miles. And for the number four bearings, the one that I have shown earlier, where I was uh, I found something like some material embedded in it. Well, it's all gone. I just polish it up a little bit with emery cloth. It went away. Must have been some dust. I don't know some material got on there I have to make sure that it's flat I also got the rods all numbered up and I have to pay attention on the slots the grooves for the bearings when I put it together it has to be on one side here's the groove and my markings this will be facing towards the timing belt not just that I put some safety measures so I have to make sure that I'm putting these two hubs together correctly I put some markings on there corresponds to the number where this rod is going to which cylinder. Like this one is number four. See these three dots? Goes to number three. So if I see those dimples misalign, I know I did something wrong. Yeah, it's very important that the bearing uh, slots will go facing the exhaust valves. And always verify whenever you have a new connecting rods that it's gonna go in because it has happened to us before that was on a Arias piston but no biggie all I did was I got me a socket that fit loosely on there and wrap my uh, sandpaper slide in and out and that took care of that. No biggie there. Well, today's episode, we get to put this thing together. Together with the piston rings. All right, I think I'm all set on the rods. Don't want to get it, that thing all mixed up. Now for the piston, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and put this circ clip on to this. Let me see if I could put it on. Okay. I got lucky on that one. All right. Make sure I'm on that groove. Same thing on this one. All right. See, that's why I have these eyeglasses on. Safety glass. All right. All right. They are all in. Good deal. Let me show you the, my final numbers on the number one rings. Number four is 19. Number three is 19. Number one is 21. And the number two is 21. And uh, kind of went overboard on uh, the two piston rings here. But that's okay. Uh, remember the uh, Hasting provide a uh, recommendation. 18,000 to 20,000. 1,000 of an inch difference, uh, I think it's not really gonna kill me. Uh, when it comes down to a piston ring, sometimes it's better to be loose than tight. You can't go wrong when it's too loose, but you will get in trouble if it's too tight or something. That will prevent it from breaking the ring lands. Yeah, so I think I'll be okay. Before we step into my office and show you the second ring, I still have two piston rings that I need to uh, set the gap, then I can show you how I filed the rings and everything. And I just wanted to, uh, a disclaimer, when it comes down to a piston ring, setting the gap on the piston rings, everyone is different. Every builders are different. Every motor, like I said before, are different. They are not built the same. So always do your research. And if you're not sure of uh, where exactly where to put your piston ring gaps, always follow the manufacturer's recommendation. You can't go wrong by using their recommendation. Okay, and uh, let's go step into my office. Right there. And that is 22. This one, a little bit too tight. I have to make sure I'm all square. That one goes in, but a little bit too tight. Okay, this goes in freely. Okay, that's 22. I need to do something. I need to widen this up a little bit, this one and this one. And let me show you how I do it. I'm squeezing the ring as I go up. I got my two fingers inside and my thumb and the other finger kind of squeezing it like so. Okay, I don't have that fancy ring filer. So I'm just simply using a file. This is the second ring. So you can see there's the marking right there, it said on top. I'm only filing one side. So just put it on like so. 
I'll, I'm gonna try to find the flat spot. It's either I go this way, go that way, and it's gonna rest on its own. So I just file it like that. And if I feel any raised material, I just got a sandpaper right here. And you give it a, a quick polish. Run my finger again, back and forth. Make sure I don't feel anything. Put it on the cylinders. Again, I'm squeezing the piston rings. As I put it on, drop it on there, like 0.8, like the uh, manual say. And try it again. Okay, this time it goes in. Let me see. Let me, I gotta need to get that. Yeah, okay. 22 is good. Slight drag. All right. Try that. Okay, 22 it is. That's good. It goes in easily this time. For the number three, polish this up. Again, there's the top marking. Lay it flat, tilt it up and down till it find the flat spot then I'll go at it sometimes the material for second and first ring are different so just kinda be careful when you use a file. You don't want to take off a lot of material. I don't feel any more raised material. Squeeze. Tap it on there. to use 22 again okay 22 is good I'm gonna try 23 just for checking okay 23 okay it goes in but it's tight all right, I'm good. Just for everyone to uh, to see, I'm gonna put it on top. On the last episode, I have said that uh, the bore is kind of taper, and it is. So this will. Just curious mind. Since I got 22 at the bottom, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try 24, which is the maximum. 
this is what Hasting recommend 24 okay that's 24 goes in easy this one is right there it's good make sure I'm, I'm all square okay this is tight this is loose Oh, this is perfect right here. My neighbor is mowing his lawn again. That's okay. I make some noise here too. <laughs> Worse than they do. Okay. Turn the excess. Hey, thank you for uh, recommending this. That's a lube. It works pretty good. Clock in the rings. This is the H22 and it will be clocked like this. The previous uh, settings that I have, this one I followed a 2006 Acura RSX clocking position. I'll decide later on which one I'm gonna follow.